going on, guys? All right. Got another first impression today, and that's the Cubis tank. Got this on Fast Tech, super cheap. Um, let's check it out. Again, I have just removed the wrapping. I have not opened this box yet. Whoa. All right. So first you get a, a warranty card. Cool. You get a manual. Cool. Uh, you got this telling to make sure you prime your coils. Definitely. And then you get your tank. Looks to be a glass strip tip in here. Why well, they always seem to make these things such a fucking pain. Yep, you get a Glass strip tip as well. Cool. Never really like glass ones. Take that out. Get this little box here. What do we got in here? Holy crap, I didn't rip it. Crazy. Get a another coil. No clue which one it is. Holy crap, you get You get uh three coils with this thing. So you get, let's see here, a 1.5 ohm Clapton, which is uh, 8 to 20 watts. You get a 1.0 ohm stainless steel, looks like 316L, 10 to 25 watts. And this one, I can't read. It doesn't have one installed, so what the hell? I'll open the one I can't read. I'll use that one. The fuck, are you supposed to get this out? <laughs> well, this is a pain. So I always carry a pocket knife. Sweet. Pop this sucker out. Holy crap, this is tiny airflow. This is the 0.5 ohm. Uh, 15 to 30 watts. Is it clapped in or anything? It's another stainless steel 316. Cool. Let's prime this one up and throw it in. Let's also go ahead and open this up. So this is cool. This is like a, a cup. I think I just opened the airflow or closed the airflow by uh, opening it, which is nice. I don't smell any machine oil. Smells nice and clean, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use it just like this. Put that down, put that down. Let's prime up this coil. So I'm just going to put uh, some mech sauce in here. You'll do a lot of drops. Because there's a ton of cotton in here. Oh, that's cool. The wicking is from the bottom. Interesting. Alright guys, I'm just going to keep dripping on this, so uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I got it nice and primed. I just attached the atomizer to the uh, stack, I guess you want to call it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill this tank up. So I think there's like, yep, there's a fill line. It says max right there. So I'm just going to fill it like a cup.
right up to max. This seems to hold a fair amount of juice. It's max right there. Let me go ahead and uh, screw this together. Threads aren't the smoothest I've ever experienced, but they're not too bad. And once you get it on there, you get your uh, your airflows right there. There's no real indication of your airflow. I'm guessing all the way clockwise is all the way open. Yeah, definitely. So let me throw this on a uh, a mod, and I'm gonna let it sit for a while, and then we'll vape it. See you in a little bit. Back again. All right. Got the Cubis all mounted up. It's a good looking tank. The airflow is a little weird. Uh, I think it could spin in your pocket or wherever pretty easily. But does chuck. Um, I'm not getting. I'm already over the suggested wattage from at 31 watts. I'm not getting much flavor, um, but I think that could have to do with the break-in of these coils. Um, this is the first tank full, so I've had some atomizers that take a full tank, um, and sometimes even a little, like tank and a half, to really start getting the full flavor, and that could be the case with this one. Go the airflow about halfway open. I can open up all the way. And it's pretty generous. I would uh, say it's about the same as like a... Um, what would I say it's the same of? Definitely not this. No. <laughs> um, probably pretty close to the original Atlantis. Maybe the Atlantis 2. It's pretty open. You can do cool stuff like that with it. I saw Twisted do that, I thought it was kind of cool. Let's pull this up a little bit more. Let's go to 32. Now this is the 0.5 ohm stainless steel coil that I have in here. Um, it's reading 0.66, uh, but it was reading 0.54. Uh, initially, it is stainless steel, so it's meant for temp control. I pretty much hate temp control, um, so I've got my temp control turned off on my DNA 200. That's getting better, actually. Turn the air flow down a little bit here. That's decent flavor, and like I said, I think this is still breaking in. Uh, this is just a first impression, as with the uh, iJust Plus that I just uh, uploaded. Um, the wicking seems like it's keeping up at first. It wasn't. Um, what I did was I took the... Oh, I can show you. What I did was I basically loosened the top all the way, tipped it a little bit, and let it sit there. Just like that. So that there's no pressure, it can just soak right into the coils. And then I put it back down. Whoa, got some spit back on that one. And even after doing it that time, it's better. <laughs> you get some hot mouth in my. Uh, how Hot juice in my mouth, not hot mouth in my juice. It's definitely making a lot of vapor.
And uh, I think this could even go up. Let's go to 33. Screw it. I got an extra coil with it. It's getting better. That one seems like it might be a little bit overpowered. So I'm going to go 32 and a half. And I've found with most coils, <coughs> it's going to happen at some point. I've found with uh, most coils, as they break in, you can turn up the power a little bit more, get a little more warmth, a little more vapor, a little more flavor. But yeah, I'm going to have to play with this thing a little more. It's a pretty simple tank. Top fill, although to fill it you have to take the entire chimney and coil and everything out and set it down somewhere or hold it in your mouth, which is a, not a huge deal. I suppose you could probably just take it off and put it to the side and fill, um, although then your max line would not be correct. So yeah, you got to take it out, um, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's not a deal breaker for me. It's definitely getting better. It's getting better as you use it. Um, I'm going to say that it's probably just a long break in time on this. Definitely seems like my initial hit most every time, especially after uh, opening it this last time and letting it sit there. I get a slight gurgle, but then it goes away pretty quick. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> seems like it could be pretty cool. I'm going to have to uh, use it a lot more, and I'll do an update video. Um, I do like the airflow. The airflow is pretty good. I like it. So the way that this is designed is that the coil sits down there in the wicking material, your air comes in and down a little bit and kind of grabs the vapor. It doesn't go through the coil at all. Um, much like the set Cyclone, which I hate. Um, this one seems to be a lot, <coughs> a lot better than it, which is good because I was a little bit worried about it. I got it on Fast Tech for like 20 something dollars, not a lot of money. Yeah, it's getting better and better. The um, design, I think, is pretty cool. I don't think it came with extra glass. Hold on, let me double check here. Let's see if there's so much shit in here. No. No extra glass, which could be an issue. I mean, I personally, I've never broken a tank. Um, the glass on a tank. And it's not near as exposed as, say, the uh, new Cleto. Um, but it is a lot of exposed glass. So potentially you could break the glass. Even then, I don't even know if you can take the glass out of this thing, which might be why it didn't come with one. So hopefully they sell an extra cup or something like that. I don't know. It's not that expensive of a tank, so if you break it, Probably just buying a new one. Air production is great. Um, the airflow is good. I th it does spin kind of easily. I don't know. It could possibly spin in your pocket. Um, I'll have to let you guys know on the update. Definitely getting better. Definitely getting better. I think it's got a long break in on these coils. Which is fine. I find with coils with long break ins usually last longer. So that's not a huge issue for me. The coil does have a lot of cotton. So if you're going to change your flavor, um, there could definitely be mixing for at least a tank, maybe two. Um, 
before you get rid of your other flavor completely. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. I do like it. I do like it. All right, it's enough just sitting here chain vaping. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely not bad. It's not bad. Um, it's better than many tanks that I've had. The break-in seems like it's a lot. Uh, it is top fill into that cup, and it is pretty con. I mean, other than the fact that you got to put the entire section somewhere, it's pretty convenient. Um, yeah, I can't think of much else to say, guys. I'll catch you later. I hope you liked the review. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Later.